I was supposed to meet Madison here. You've got to be kidding me. What's going on? Brian and I are renewing our vows. Didn't you just get married? Well, the wedding wasn't exactly everything we'd hoped for. Was it Madison's baby news? And Annie taking Emma, among other not so positive things, but it was Ryan's idea. To fix what went wrong, just the two of us, so please, please keep Madison away. <sighs> Greenlee, Madison is not the enemy. When are you gonna learn that? Well, after today, she's not going to have a weapon to hold over my head anyway. What are you talking about? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna tell him the truth. I knew about his baby and I didn't tell him. Ryan, what does it matter who knew what when? You're gonna be in the baby's life. Let's just look forward. Madison, you keeping this from me for so long, that, that, that that's one thing, but... Greenlee was in on this? It, it wasn't like that. Look, you and I are gonna be parents, Madison. I need to be able to trust you. Now, it maybe Dr. Cantor was just kind of like remembering wrong. Well, if, if Greenlee didn't know about the baby, I need, I need you to tell me. No more lies. I'm afraid that if I go to Ryan with this, Madison will find out that her fairy tale with you didn't quite start out once upon a time. There is no fairy tale here. If she finds out that I bribed you with a job at the hospital to distract her from Ryan, the princess will dump you. Okay, look. Really, this is not about me, okay? It's about Madison, and she has taken a lot of hits, and she doesn't need to take another one. All right, not now. She's in a very good place, and I want to make sure she stays that way. Yeah, well, I guess I picked the right guy for the job. Okay, look, that first date I made with her was because you got me out of jail. But what Madison and I have is real. Hmm. Isn't that swell? Maybe I should branch out, become a matchmaker for the parole board. But I need to do this. Ryan is trying so hard to teach Emma to tell the truth. And there I am, standing beside him like some hypocrite, smiling, nodding my head. Been lying to him for months. It's risky. You know that, right? I made a mistake. But we've been through a lot together. We'll get through this. You say so. I was the one who didn't want you to know. I didn't want anyone to know. That's why I was going to leave town. The job offer in, 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 in New York, was that Greenlee's idea too? Did she set that up? I didn't go. Is that a yes? Ryan, none of this matters. The hell it doesn't! Look, I, I, just, I just... I just want the truth, okay, please? You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 should be, I should be asking Greenlee this, not you. You certainly don't need the stress. I'm sorry. seen anyone as in love as you were with Greenlee, as I think that you still are. Greenlee and I are just so much alike. You know, we don't let the rules get in the way of getting what we want. It's too bad that she wants Ryan. It's crazy, you know? She believes she's in love. But the problem with a man like Ryan, no one can ever live up. You are the one constant in my life. The man I love, now and forever. I hope you like it. I just, I just wanted everything to be perfect, and I've been looking at my vows over and over again. But first, there's something I really, I really want to say. Christmas Eve. Madison was pregnant. You knew and you didn't tell me. For Madison's sake? And if Madison wanted to keep this a secret for like forever, would you have gone along with it? Let me run into her and 
her little girl, you knowing that it was my child and you never saying anything? No, 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 I swear, I swear, I swear to you I was going to tell you today. This ceremony means so much to me, and I wanted everything to be right between us, including this, before we said our vows again. You don't believe me? You've been lying to me for months. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling the truth now. Or, or you're just saying these words because I caught you. No, I am so, so, so sorry, Ryan. I should have told you the second I found out. But like I said, Madison didn't want you to know. Did she tell you that? She did. Well, then you understand. Why can't you just own this? You, you kept this from me for your own reasons. It had nothing to do with helping Madison, OK? And I, I really think that you owe it to me to tell me everything. I had all kinds of reasons for not telling you. And they made sense to me at the time. I mean, we had already been through so much together. My marriage to David, both of us being accused of his murder, losing Zach, and then we were finally able to be together. After all of that, we were finally able to, to love each other, to breathe, to start our future together. And then Madison turns up pregnant with your baby. I mean, it was like God's sick joke on me. I just wanted us to have our wedding day. I just wanted one perfect day. And then I would tell you. We had our day. And you didn't tell me. Madison did. When I first found out that Madison was carrying my child, I mean, you were there, Greenlee, and, and you pretended to be surprised. I was going to tell you then, but you were already so thrown. And then, and then time passed. And it was easier to, to forget, to, to tell myself that it didn't really matter. What were you thinking? Thinking that I, I'd find out Madison was caring. And I would leave you. You had that little faith in me? So many horrible things happened to us, kept us apart. Things that we had no control over. Starting with my accident the day that we were supposed to get married. So when we were finally so close to having our future together, I wanted it to be perfect. It had to be perfect. And an ex-girlfriend with a baby wasn't part of that picture, so I lied. Not because I didn't trust you, but because I didn't want anything to get in the way of the life that we should have had. The life that you chose for we, us. we had already been robbed of so much. I told myself that we deserve to be happy, and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I am sorry. I never should have lied. And I will spend the rest of our life proving that you can trust me. Always. Please. Please tell me that we can get past this. That we can go back to the way things used to be. No. Greenlee, we can't. 